Hi folks, uh, this is uh, my solar tracker that I made out of the Harbor Freight system um, and an antenna motor. Um, pretty much what you see is the uh, two Harbor Freight 45 watt kits. Um, I used um, Unistrut for the bottom, um, a uh, dish network dish. Um, bracket to hold it in the center here Let me walk closer to it right there that's one of those just dish network uh, dish uh, brackets for satellite dish and then I took uh, some unistrut and I just bolted it to that and then uh, I had to drill holes in the uh, Harbor Freight um, brackets and then uh, my friend welded welded the uh, two pieces that just slide in. Um, he welded that and um, gave it a quick uh, spray paint of gray. Uh, threw the panels on. Um, put a flat bungee cord on there because uh, I don't trust the uh, the way that they just lock in there. And the wind was really blowing yesterday, and the thing was kind of teetering. So I added a um, a uh, piece of galvanized, and I zip tied it on there. So that should be nice and strong. It's not it's not going nowhere. Sucker's on there. And I just screwed it, screwed it right to the uh, deck using one of these flanges. I'll show you. So I'll probably uh, give this another quick coat of gray. This whole thing. Uh, kind of blend it in, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I ran the wire through this uh, black um, black tubing. It's all the wire in there, and uh, ran it through the deck, just the little crack through the deck, and I connected it underneath the deck can't see it really but it's under there and then I ran into the house <coughs> into the charge control let me just show you the uh, connections of it and I'll show you uh, it moving and everything okay basically in here in this little closet I have off the off the house is a uh, here's the transmitter for it and uh, basically, it's this remote, you program it to what times you want it to move, and it uh, and it moves. And this is the one that the remote that comes with it that I just use it to test. So I'll pretty much uh, it's at solar noon right now, um, 180, and I'll just uh, I'll move it around and show you what it does. Pretty much when it I have it set. I actually, off the internet, there's a uh, there's a site that did it a little different than I did, but that's pretty much where I got the idea. Um, and it gives you a nice little graph here what the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere hemisphere um, gives you the times that um, each position should be. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, it's uh, www.livingonsolar.com I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, check that uh, website out. And uh, it was pretty neat, pretty neat idea. And I picked up another one of these on eBay. Uh, these are kind of hard to come by, but um, I got two of them. It wasn't that hard. They're about uh, 20 bucks on eBay. So, um, and then the channel channel master um, picked that up on uh, I think a, a um, antenna satellite website on the internet. 
you just have to search around or maybe Amazon I don't remember but um, just search around you find a, a good deal all right so basically uh, what it does is it uh, just cycles through by uh, by time when the uh, Sun comes so I'm just gonna show you how that how it moves from here zoom in a little bit That moves that way. It's a 278 right now. It never goes that far, but the sun never gets that far, but she is and every morning it's right there and it just cycles through so I'm gonna put it back on 180 because that's solar noon right now 180 is dead straight that way my backyard faces solar noon And that's it. And that's my homemade Harbor Freight slash Channel Master uh, Antenna Tracker Solar Tracker. Big long, long wording there, but that's uh, that's pretty much what it is. Just using parts and parts and parts, but it does work. I I had fun doing it. If I had room, I'd build a bunch of these things, but I don't have I don't have hardly any room left, so I think that's that will do it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.